Hey guys, um, update on the bee stuff. Um, I delivered our supplies that we got from Saponi Creek. Delivered those to school today. Um, let Mr. Ledbetter get an inventory of what we had and based on his experience, what we needed um, to get if we didn't have anything we needed. Since we're getting two packages of bees and the grant only um, was supposed to give us stuff for one package of bees, just wanna make sure we had everything we needed. We're probably gonna set all those, um, the first boxes up um, on Monday that be our work day on Monday. So um, just trying to make sure we have everything squared away for that. I was letting him give me a little um, tutorial on um, kind of how, how to set it all up, what, what I needed to do, and just a little intro in, in the, I guess, lesson one. Um, so here he is, and I just videoed exactly what he was telling me so that we all had record of what he was saying. So here he is. What you do is you put that, you put your package in there. This goes in between. And then as the so you put the bees in first. Well, you can put this in. You can put this in here. Oh, okay. Any time. But you'll turn it this way, and then you turn it, you know, this way. See how it works. And then when the bees finally get enough, powerful enough and big enough, you take the whole thing out and let them have the whole front. Uh, so how long do you keep it on each thing? I, I would say when they draw out this first, uh, when they draw out a bunch of comb, you can flip to this one when the first set of bees hatch out. Because the queen will have to hatch out, they'll hatch out the first set of bees. And then once they get to the top box, then you can flip it open all the way. Otherwise, other bees will get in here and try to rob them out. They won't be able to defend against predators. It's oh, okay. easy. But you won't put that on until. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Put this on. The bees go up in here. Climb up this wire and down and eat the honey. Or not the honey. Sugar water. The sugar water. So so I mix the sugar water and I'll just put it put, put it, it in on here. both sides, yeah. You can put it, it on both sides. Fill it all the way up. Fill it all well. You can just fill one side up at first. But what'll happen is when you get so many bees in there that they'll overcrowd on one side and put it on both sides. Right, you put your inner cover on, and then you put on this telescoping top. Make sure everything's squared up. Why is it called telescoping top? Because it telescopes up as the hive grows. I would just call it the top. So that is what? That's all you'll have for quite some time. But two of those. Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. I've got, I got inner covers you can use, and entrance reducers you can use, and bottom boards you can use. So you've got enough to start two hives. You got plenty to start two hives with my stuff and their stuff. Okay. And okay. then once you once they build up this box, then you're gonna need additional frames to put in to build up a second box. Then once they build up the second box. So let's let's say you go in here and you decide that you know they're they're working and that's all got brood in it and it's drawn out. You know what I'm saying? And the bees have worked the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you put on this and they'll they'll work it up here too. Then they'll start drawing out comb, laying eggs, doing their thing up here. And you'll get a lot of bees going. And then once they do that, then you can put on the super. And they'll fill that up full of honey. Now what he didn't give you... Oh, so you don't get honey until you get up to this stage. Yeah. If... You know, a lot of people recommend you don't take honey the first year. Some people say, yeah, take the honey. But I've done it both ways. And I mean, it really just depends on the strength of the hive. If the hive's weak and you take it, it may not work out. If the hive's like really strong, 
they got a lot of bees. You don't want to take too much because they won't have enough to feed all the bees. But this thing full of honey will weigh 60 pounds. They draw that comb out all the way to the edge. Now they don't have a queen excluder. You put that between here and here so the queen can't get up here and lay eggs in the top. Otherwise you have like brood in your honey. A lot of people don't care. Some people do. This is the hive tool. They'll, they'll go in here and they'll propolize this stuff with bee glue. Uh -huh. So you come up in here and you'll have to like really work it in there and prise it up. And then you can use this too to help prise it all around. And then these can help get the frames up. And, and you know, the, these will all be stuck together, propolized together. You can take this and break them loose. And they gave you this tool so that you can grab the hive work it down in there and then pull it out and then you can look at the frame and then stick it back down in there and sometimes you know it's hard to do and the brush the brush is so you can uh, sweep the bees off yeah. you know it works good um, there's all kind of ways. You don't want to go sweeping down here where the queen is. Okay, so just as far as between now and the time the packages arrive, I need to set up um, this, this, and this part. Yeah, you need another top. You need another top, another bottom board, and there's a high feeder and another telescopic and another inner cover and entrance reducer. You've got all the frames and the brute and the deep that you need to make another hive. Okay. And but do we have you're gonna need additional deep and additional frames. Eventually, yes. Yeah. Okay. And that that'll all depend on how fast the bees hustle. Like okay. one of them might really be fast and the other one by man, they, they ain't even draw half the comb out yet. That's okay. the hive you gotta worry about. Okay. Here's some here's some did you tell him we had some in here? I didn't know what they were, so I didn't say we had any. I think this is still good. I think they this can still use that? Yeah. All it out. Here you go. Well, I don't know. It got moldy. How do you get moldy in the freezer? Ew. It, it, you know what? I bet it went out. Probably. When we had the power outage, it went out. Probably. That's what happened. Can you still use the frame? But the... I mean, you can use all the frame. You might be able to use this. I'm sure it's dead. That sucks, too. That's a year's worth of wax right there. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm not use it, I guess. Yeah.